Why do some people think spirituality is the answer to everything? Well, the truth is, there's no such thing called spirituality. There's no area of life called spirituality that is different from any other area. So why do we have this term? Well, we have this term because spirituality generally suggests a different metaphysics about the world. What is called spirituality is simply a different metaphysical view. The common metaphysical view in the world is that the physical stuff we see is primary and everything else is secondary. Like mind, emotion, feeling, desire, all of this is the product of neurotransmitters and hormones. The physical stuff is primary. This is the general understanding in society, especially in public. People may believe differently, people may think differently, people may have faith in something else, but the perception in society is generally that the physical stuff is what matters and comes first. And therefore, what is called spirituality simply is a deepening of insight, a deepening of vision, and a deepening of experience that says there is something else that is primary. There is something else that this so-called physical stuff is constituted from. And when this is seen as primary, people start to say, well, this is kind of spiritual and so on. Why do they say that? Because it's usually a belief and it's not a direct experience. Nobody says that the belief in the physical world is spiritual. Nobody will say that. But it is just as spiritual as something else. It is just because everybody else believes that and because the standard perception in our society is oriented towards physical things first, therefore, we don't call it spirituality. So there is actually no separate category of life called spirituality. It is simply a deepening of vision, a deepening of experience, and a widening and broadening of vision and experience. When somebody says, why do some people think that spirituality is the answer to everything? Because a lot of the limitations that we have in life, a lot of the limitations we see is because we are dealing with an incomplete picture of what is actually happening and that is often based in that physicalist paradigm. And therefore, a word like spirituality gets invented to suggest that there is actually much more that has nothing to do with belief and doesn't have to do anything to do with faith, really. It really is about experimentation. And it really is about being skeptical, being skeptical of the very stories you are told and not believing them at face value without investigating and doing the experiments. So this is why people think spirituality is the answer because it suggests that there is something more, but the real proof is in the pudding. The real proof is in the experimentation. The second question, why do people say suffering was worth it if it takes you to being spiritual? That if we are spiritual, then all the suffering was worth it because now we've arrived at spirituality. Well, it's the same answer. What is meant by spirituality is supposed to be a deepening of insight and vision such that the very suffering that was experienced is seen in a different light now, right? Just like if a person, let's say, falls down, they get, a bru they get a bruise, they get a scrape, and this is part of a training process by which they come to, let's say, win an Olympic gold medal. Let's say they were a track star. But let's say that they never actually saw that process. They didn't know where this was going. They were just falling and getting bruised. They would say, what in the world is this? This is terrible. And somebody comes along and says, no, this is part of winning that gold medal. If they could not see that endpoint, then they would see that all of this is useless. But if they saw that endpoint, now the whole context gets changed. And that very thing that was seen as suffering and even experienced as suffering may be informing something much more grand and much deeper. Now, I'm not suggesting that when anybody says this, this is always what's happening. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying that when we experience something like suffering, what recontextualizes that can be a broader picture of what is happening. So the key to all this is to let go of the idea that there is something called life and there is something called spirituality that there is something called science and there is something called spirituality, that there is something called philosophy and there is something called spirituality. No, we can use that jargon because that's what everybody says. To communicate at some point, at some level, we have to use that language. But ultimately, spirituality itself doesn't exist. The more deeply you see this moment, the more deeply you see what your body is, the more deeply we see what this world is, 
The more deeply we see what space and time are, the less we will need something called spirituality because it is simply about vision, insight, and experience.